writing a tcp eco server in the last lesson we created a tcp client now we will create a tcp server we will start with an eco server and eco server waits for a client to connect when a client is connected it waits for some data from the client and when it receives those data it sends them back to the client that is why it is called an eco server the client will be able to observe that eco is coming from the server and this will teach you important concept related to server programming so now let us begin first i will start my terminal application here i am using real term and i will use it to view the outputs coming from the serial port of stm32 for this example that is the tcp server example i will increase the display size for that i will go to the display section i will increase the number of rows and i will change it from 16 to 32 uh, this will make the display bigger and then i will go to the port section and select the specific baud rate and my com port and then i will open the com port the virtual com port now my terminal application is ready to view the outputs and then i will start hercules this time i will go to the tcp client section because my stm32 is working as a server so i will use hercules as a tcp client and here i will feed the ip address of my embedded host that is my stm32 and it is 192.168.2.112 and since my application my example is listening on port 5000 i will use port 5000 here then i will power up my stm32 like this and the outputs will appear here and these are the standard outputs we have already discussed them in the previous lessons and after this line uh, our actual output start that those are related to the tcp server example so here we can see that uh, it is initializing the server socket uh, then server socket created successfully and our application is listening on port 5000 that is why i will use port 5000 here to connect and it is waiting for a client to connect so here is our client i will issue the connect command and you just keep your eye here on the outputs what happens when i click connect uh, here a message is displayed a client connected and now it is waiting for some client data and here we can also see that it is connected to our embedded host that is stm32 it is successfully connected to this ip address that is 192.168.2.112 and now we can send some data from here from our hercules client to our embedded host this is embedded server and let us see what happens uh, first i will send this text from here i will hit uh, i will put some text here and then i will hit the send button uh, you just keep your eye here on the outputs so see here what it is telling that it is uh, it has received 17 bytes of data from uh, the client and data received and what is the data, uh, data content so here you can see the content of the data whatever data we sent here it is showing here so we can see that the data is successfully received on our stm32 and uh, what it is doing after that it is sending the echo back and here it is also displaying the status that echo sent back to the client and we can also confirm it here so this pink text this is what we sent to the server and this black text this is what received from our uh, this server so this is the echo and the echo is enclosed within this square bracket so you can uh, send several messages and see whether the echo is coming or not uh, just keep your eye here so we can see that echo is coming and now after that we have a special command uh, when we want this loop to break the loop which is running inside the microcontroller uh, and what it is doing it is waiting for data it is waiting for data from the uh, this client so if we want to break the rule uh, if you want to break the loop we have to send a special command and i have created this special command and this is quit command q u i t quit and when i send this quit message to this, this our server see what's happened uh, keep your eye here so now i will send the quit command so here you can see uh, just after this here 
received four byte from the client and these four byte uh, are for this command quit this is four byte and it has all already this e code this also this quit command so here you can see uh, this quit is sent by our uh, client and this is uh, replied by our server so here it is echo sent back to client and uh, just see what is happening after that so it is telling that it has received quit command from the client and so it is disconnecting and then it prints session over and then once again and start to listen on the same port uh, because the server should indefinitely infinitely it should uh, wait for new and new correction it should not uh, so after one connection is over here connection is over it is again in slicing the socket and it is again listening on port 5000 so this is what we are going to code in this lesson hope you will enjoy it a lot so let us begin so let us go to the coding the complete code of this TCP eco server is available on udemy.com on my course on W5500 and embedded ethernet. Just go to udemy.com and search for W5500 like this. This one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson.